An effective technique for catching striped bass is called snap jigging. It's a method designed to put a maximum amount of action into a straight-tailed soft plastic lure. We've talked in the past about the importance of trigger and reaction strikes for fish that aren't naturally inclined to bite. When rockfish are hungry, they'll hit anything. You can put a treble hook on a natty bow can and throw it out there and they'll probably bite it. But when they're not feeding, it takes an innovative approach to get them to bite. That's where snap jigging comes in. The quick down and up snap of your rod tip can deliver an action to your lure that stripers just can't resist. In order to deliver the snap, you need a rod that has fast or extra fast action. I'll add a link on the screen to a previous Chesapeake Minute about rod choices. You can snap jig with either a bait caster or a spinning outfit. Start with a cast in the direction you think the fish might be. If the fish are holding near the bottom, allow enough time for your lure to touch down. Keep your line tight as the lure descends and tune in so that you feel a thud when it hits the bottom. If you can't feel the bottom, watch your line so that you can see when it stops sinking. Bright color braid works best because of its visibility and fast action. Once you feel the bottom, drop your rod tip just a little, then give a quick snap up. Here it is again from another angle. Remember, the goal is no slack in your line at any time, even immediately after the snap. If you allow too much slack, your line might wrap around your rod tip. After the snap, take in a little line, then tune in again and let the lure sink as naturally as possible while keeping the line tight. If the boat is drifting fast, you might not even have to reel, and sometimes you even need to let out a little line to stay in contact with the bottom. When fish are suspended, time your snap so that the lure stays as close to the depth where they're holding as possible by taking in a little line after each snap. Tuning into your lure and thinking down the line is critical because that's what allows you to feel the strikes. If you feel anything different than the thud of the lure on the bottom, set the hook. If you don't get hit, repeat this action until the lure gets back to the boat, then cast again. Remember, it's important not to allow any slack at all in your line at any time during the snap cycle. In future episodes of the Chesapeake Minute, I'll talk more about tried and proven striper catching techniques. I hope you'll subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and let's go fishing. <music>